2015, there was an average of 1,600 ransomware attacks in Canada every day. And while security programs are a first line of defense, there are things you can do to protect yourself. Joining us this morning is online security expert David Papp with the Deets. Morning, Dave. Morning, Mike. Nice to see you. We're always talking about some kind of wear, whether it be malware. Now we're talking ransomware. Define that. What is ransomware? Ransomware is essentially a form of malware. Um, people typically get it when they click on those things they shouldn't in their email. You know, you click on that attachment or that link inside there. What it does is it worms its way through your computer and it encrypts every single file. And then you go to access one of those files and a message springs up on the screen. And it says, you have to pay us this amount of money, typically in bitcoins or a prepaid credit cards. And there's a countdown. If you don't pay that money by that time, and it's usually only a matter of days, those files are gone. That is scary. Very scary. Hence the term ransomware. When you say every file, what do you, every file? It, generally, most of the critical files on your system, yeah, it's worming its way through your computer and it's just in, encrypting, 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 encrypting. Okay, we'll talk about uh, preventing that from happening, but, but first of all, let's say, well, you haven't prevented, it's happened. What, what happens if you get hit? What do you do now? So now what you need to do is uh, you should report it to the authorities. There's the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre that you should go and look up, great information online. You should evaluate your backups. So do you have any offline backups that are not connected to your computer that you could restore from? And that's where it becomes very important. And you should contact an expert. The time is ticking. Do not delay on this thing. You need to act right away. But if you act within that time, you're okay? You'll be okay? If you pay, yes. And unfortunately, two-thirds of people pay in order to get out of that situation because they don't have backups that they can go and rely but, but on. But like you say, though, if you, if you take hold immediately after finding out, you can protect yourself at that point. Yes, and I know a lot of people who have and have survived that. I also know a lot of businesses that got completely killed by ransomware. When you talk about not clicking on things, some of these things look very real. Very I mean, legit. How can you be proactive about that? Um, it's education, making sure, like, is it really legitimate? A lot of them uh, have some kind of sense of urgency to them. So you're looking at this email and you're thinking, I don't know, would my bank really send something like that? Or should I really open this attachment or my friend? Maybe pick up the phone. Just call them and ask them. Maybe ask a friend, does this look legit? But some of them are as simple as from your very good friend and a link. <laughs> You're like, right. Why would you be suspicious about that? <laughs> Most of my friends, well, I mean. It's just a link. Uh, like I agree. And uh, they look legit. I totally agree. Now, this is where you start to tear apart the link. If you read the link and you look at the address, you know, blah, 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 abc.com slash some site slash slash. Would your friend actually send you that link? Like, you actually have to educate yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's, that's true. So, um, what about protection? I mean, uh, do the antivirus uh, softwares protect you from that? Kind now, of thing? some of them are, which is great. Uh, this is great news. Not all of them do. Uh, one that I personally use is called Webroot, and it protects against ransomware as well. It can detect it. Is that free? Uh, no, unfortunately not. <laughs> <laughs> what about the free ones, like Norton and the other ones? They, you're saying that they don't protect you from Not all of them. You have to make sure you read uh, the comparison, the feature list, to make sure do they protect against ransomware. Is this something you're more susceptible to on your, your Mac or and PC as opposed to your phone, or could it be anything? Could be anything, but it's more on your PC, and it's more on Windows than it is on Mac. What about the phone? Uh, same thing, more on Android side than it is on the iOS side. Um, I, I guess another way to pro be proactive would be, and I, I'm, not, I'm just putting you on the spot here because I've, uh, we haven't really discussed this, but are there websites we can go to to learn about this, to be uh, more oh, secure on Absolutely, your... huge amounts. Um, again, the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre, which is uh, maintained by, you know, in joint efforts with the RCMP, great information that with a lot of links to educate you on ransomware. Okay, so what are you Googling there? Canadian Fraud? Canadian Anti-Fraud Center. Okay, perfect. That should help you out then. Thanks a lot, Dave. Uh, you can follow David on Twitter. You can uh, check out his blog as well. I believe we're going to put it up. Yeah, so his blog is davidpapp.com. It's a simple one. The Twitter is at David Papp. Stay with us. We're back after the break.